So my parents are donating this trailer for our primary base of operations. So Brian and I could have a little spot to store some tools. We can use it for, there's a refrigerator inside. We can store some drinks, some food. I'll have a place to sleep. Brian's already got his van, so he could sleep in his, his uh, van when he's up at the property working. You can see the inside here. Still looks pretty good shape. Here's the major problem I'm at face of today. It's gonna to be the major fix is there was a leak and it caused all sorts of damage. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and take off some of this outer layer. Then of course, I gotta find the source of the leak. Uh, the air conditioning area is kind of suspect. I probably could use this bed. That's got the little kitchen area. It's already kind of burnished with some, oh, there's a little microwave right there. That's kind of cool. Got some plates, bowls, whatnot. A uh, little shower. That could be very useful after a hard day of work and trail building. And uh, we got some towels. Well, another little sink here. And I got a bunch of, oh, it already comes with some toilet paper and everything. This turns into a nice little table. Looks like it's got sectional piece in there. Not sexual, but sectional. It was too hot to keep the camera rolling up here while I did some of the ceiling. But I, hopefully this isn't way too bright for the camera. But all around the things I sealed, that one was the main culprit right there. This little awning has seen better days. Look at this wasp's nest. Ugh. Gross. Use a bottle jack to lift this up and then I got, a, got some braces that are gonna hold this trailer up in place so I'll take these uh, wheels in managed to lock up the trailer take all the wheels off look how bad these things are they're all pretty shot so almost done the tires off yesterday, I was able to take them down to the tire shop, got those done. Uh, I bought some used tires, ended up being $260 for all four of them, new valve stems. These things have been sitting there for a long time. So that's taken care of. And the inside, finally got all this pretty much just vented out, got that ceiling looking decent. It, this is the stuff that had all caved in, the air conditioner covered back up, I got the lights hanging back up, most of them work. This thing will make for a decent base camp. I'll have a place to sleep. I vacuum out almost all the spider webs. So that's gonna be it for operation restoration of the base camp. So here's the situation. Base camp is hooked up to the truck. Started pulling it out, testing everything out. 
we have no brake lights. So I have to spend a couple hours probably figuring that out. No blinkers, no brakes. I had to replace the power cord while I was at my parents' house. The lights weren't coming on. Once I put that on, everything started working. This is really cool. I didn't think this was gonna survive the road trip, but it seemed to do okay. I duct taped it a little bit just to get, you know, so it wanted to disintegrate all over the highway. Hoping to get one more use out of it. I brought a hefty bag just in case because I kind of know how this is gonna play out. And surprisingly, the ceiling stayed intact. It didn't crack all over the place. So if you haven't gathered by now, I made it to the property. I gotta get up this, get back there a little ways, get everything set up. This truck should be able to handle this, no problem. Just as I thought, the awning thing was way too too old, too deteriorated. Just as soon as I tried to set it up, it was ripping. But base camp is pretty much leveled, blocked off, trucks disconnected, parked. And now I just gotta get situated inside. It's been a long day, actually. It's kind of an old style trailer, it takes a while to level it out. It's all hand manual blocks and whatnot. Base camp did a great job last night. I got a little cold, but it served its purpose. And in the evenings, after I got everything set up, I didn't feel like hiking all the way up into the mountains to do the trails. So I started the confidence course or the skills building course right here. And just doing a little bit of a layout, just trying to figure out where I want to go. I'm going to get some flags, my shovel. We're going to go scout out the climbing trail. Well, I spent the better part of my day mapping this out. I started working on the trail down below. So this is going to be the east side perimeter trail. I'm trying to find a good grade where it's not too steep. This is going to be a climbing trail. And then I came back out and started working on the bottom. Maybe three punchy sections that not technical, just a little bit on the steep side. The train here is pretty difficult to work with. I had to switch back several times so I could get up to the finger over there. Anyway, let's uh, fast forward through this line. Let's show you what we got so far. This is where I started kind of opening up the trail. I still have to do a lot of uh, shelving it out. This is a little hard here, so I might have to bring back the pickaxe. I haven't, was making very slow progress once I get to this point. Over here, it looks a little bit better. It's uh, got to get packed in too. There's a lot of loamy soft step here. So I got to actually bring this down probably another couple inches. Finish up the switch back right here. This entire shelf trail right here is not very wide, obviously. Again, this is just a rough draft. And boom, we come through here, and here's the entrance. Not bad for a day's worth of work, just one guy. Testing out all that hard work I put in. There's a trailhead. The entrance is kind of funky. This may alter a little bit. 
All right, it's doable. So soft. That part's a bit punchy. Had to dap. Let's see about the switch back. Oh. Yeah, the switchback's got to get tamed down quite a bit. Minor adjustments. That beginning, probably going to be the hardest part. It's just really tough to route that. Everything else should be pretty easy. The grade here is no problem. And here's the switchback. That's as far as I made it. Whoa, this is the first mountain biking I've done on the property. All right, it's all gonna get there. I'm excited though. Oh, geez. Okay, that's cool. I got this trail pretty much done all the way to the top. Basically, that's where the next trail is going to go down, and I already started flagging that. But all this is pretty much rideable. I'm going to do some tweaking, of course, over time. But it's laid out. And last night, one of my motion sensor lights kicked off, and I thought maybe it was just a deer. And I woke up this morning, and I started doing my hike out here to do some trail work and I saw some looks to me like mountain by mountain lion tracks but this is all shelved in so we got about a thousand trails we're going to build out here this is going to be the primary perimeter access trail to all the downhill trails um, probably half a dozen at least coming off this line maybe more I think that's going to be it for today. I'm smoked. It's hot. Hopefully tomorrow is going to be a little bit cooler or the day after. All right. Stay tuned. Thank you.